Hey everybody, we have another new release video for you. Today we're doing a hobby box of 2019 Topps Allen & Ginter. This just came out today along with 2019 Donruss Optic. Two dueling releases. We'll see which one we like better. Uh, from Optic earlier, we got a hot box with four autographs in it. This box is guaranteed to have, um, I believe it is three. There's three hits per box. And you can see right there in the right hand side of your screen, it says there are autograph cards, relic cards, rip cards, printing plates, and book cards. And there could be our favorite thing ever. Redemption cards with expiration dates could also be in there. But hopefully if we do get a redemption, it's somebody really good. So Topps Allen & Ginter, last year I opened a box of this and I think I did a blaster box and I got a relic and it ended up being some random comedian. And I wasn't too happy about that. Some people do not like Allen & Ginter just because there are some what I call weirdo cards in here, non-baseball players. But a lot of people also really, really like those cards. In fact, in the breaks, those were usually the first spot to sell the non-baseball spot. So let's go and open this up and see what we have in here. There are, I believe, 24 packs per box and eight cards per pack. So let's get this open up. And by the way, all of these cards will go to the folks in break A in tonight's break. We're breaking five cases of Allen & Ginter. Hopefully they all come in. I haven't received all my cases yet, but... Um, I got all my FedEx cases, but not my UPS ones yet. They are still on the way. So if the doorbell rings during this video, I'm going to have to go get the rest of my cases. So here we go. We have a box loader card. And inside, there is a rip card inside. I believe it's a rip card that you rip open. And there's another little mini card inside. So let's check this out. See who it is. Our box loader off the top. It's going to be an Allen and Ginter Mookie Betts card. So I guess it's not a rip card. I thought they were... Uh, I'll say rip cards on them, I guess. Cabinet box loader. Very, very nice. I'll be interested to see those rip cards. I've never seen them before. I haven't opened much of the 2018 Allen & Ginter, let alone 2019. This is my first box of 2019. So let's show you the odds. And um, there we go. There's all of the odds and also all of your no purchase necessary information for those you like to send in postcards to try to get free cards. A little easier to read than the Optic box uh, or Optics packs because Optics, uh, the Optic release had a really silvery finish to their pack and made it tough to see. Here's the design and let's go. Let's see what we have here. All right. Here is your design. It's nice, it's a nice little borderless design. Uh, Joey Gallo is the first one there. There's one mini card per pack. I wonder how many of these are going to slip out and fall out of my hands tonight. Ryan Sandberg mini card. I almost should make an, a special pile of those. Jesus Aguilar, Harold Baines. So you see there's some older players in here. That's a really nice picture of Harold. Rogers Hornsby. And then could this be our first hit? Uh, if you like horses, it is. It's some horse named Holsteiner. Don't know anything about him, but again, you have a couple weirdo cards in every pack. Probably about one a pack. That one will go to the non-baseball card spot in the break tonight. All right, let's go to the next one. By the way, there's also non-baseball autos in here. I think the coolest one is going to be uh, Harrison Ford. There's a Cespedes Family Barbecue. Um, I don't. I guess that is a is that a blogger or I'm I'm not sure. Um, high schoolers, they started a Twitter account, so a Twitter account. Hey, maybe one day Jab's family will have a, a weirdo card in Allen & Ginter way down the line. Hermes Sandals, interesting. And then who the heck wouldn't want a random flower card, right? In bloom. I, I guess um, someone's mom might like that, or grandma, Clayton Kershaw. Allen & Ginter might bring in some of the people who don't usually buy baseball cards because they're chasing after some random uh, non-baseball player. There's a nice Jeff Bagwell card. And then we have a Gonzo there, Juan Gonzalez, Justin Smoke. I don't know who the heck that guy is. Correa, Bob Gibson. Um, wish him luck in his battle with cancer. Really love Bob Gibson. And then we have a Sato. I don't know who that is. I don't know who a lot of these people are, unfortunately, the non-baseball people. As most of you know, I pretty much limit myself to baseball and baseball only. All right, here's our next pack. Got a Jim Palmer in there. There's a Doc Gooden. I'll put him in the mini pile. There's a nice Miggy Cabrera, baseball star sign. Still looking for our first hit 
first autograph or rip card or relic card or booklet for redemption. Should be finding one soon since it was three in the box. Ryan Braun there. Torrey Hunter, I always liked Torrey Hunter. He had one of the greatest all-star game catches of all time, robbing Barry Bonds. Yellow Labrador, so I guess if you had that dog as your pet, you would like that one. Reggie Jackson, and there is a big poppy, David Ortiz. Next pack of Alan Ginter. We have a Lourdes Goriel Jr., which um, is pretty cool. And then we have a Jake Arietta sporting the big beard there. Justice Sheffield mini rookie card there. There's a Mookie Betts baseball star signs. And we have our first hit. It is a Chris Archer game used memorabilia relic. So our first hit, that one will go to the Pirates owner tonight. And uh, there's the back of the card. Our first hit, Chris Archer. Star pitcher, well, not this year. He's been a star in years past, but Archer's having a rough season this year. Um... Really making a lot of Pirates fans regret the Austin Meadows, Tyler Glass, now Shane Baz trade for him. Hey, Tyler Kepner, who's a journalist, Ben Zobrist, a mini of Frank Thomas, John Lester, J.D. Martinez. There's an A-Rod, a young A-Rod there. And then we have a Santa Slay, a Santa Slay card. Gotta love that. Ryan Yarborough. All right. Next up. Still looking for two more hits. Ernie Banks, Mr. Let's Play 2, Stan Musial. I like these older cards, or they're not older, but they're older players. Somebody named Sin with stacks and stacks of money there. I guess he's a professional poker player. Randy Johnson, and we have, I hope this doesn't count as a hit. That's the second one that's been upside down. I'll really be bummed out if this ran, these random horse cards count as a hit. I really don't think that they do. There's a David Ortiz mini, Longoria, and someone named Stio or Stio. It looks like um, maybe some sort of umpire there, a youngster umpire getting his own card in Alan and Ginter. That's got to be pretty cool for him. I know if I was like 12 year old, a 12 year old kid, I would be super stoked to have a, my own card. Someone named Snyder. Don't know who that is. Yasiel Puig. We only focus on the baseball cards for the most part. There's a Brooks Robinson there, Josh Hader, and we have. This thing, this colorful card here, History of Flight. Interesting, I guess, if you're a historian. And Ryan Sandberg is the last one there. Next pack, really hoping for a couple autos in this box. Always hate it when I pick out a box. It isn't a, a really good one for the preview video, but it is what it is. I just take one box and hope for the best. Golden Retriever card. There's a nice Mario R Rivera. I like Rivera's cards a lot. Thomas and Dalton Simmons is the last one there. Here's our next pack up, about halfway through the box of Manny Machado without his hat on there. And then some guy named Pastrana. I don't know anything about him, but maybe he's in the circus somewhere, I'm not sure. And someone named Andrews. Um, not really sure. We're a baseball card channel, so we don't, I'm not going to try to figure out who these people are because honestly probably most of you don't care unless maybe you're related to them or are that person all right next up we have a Jan Moncada Yuli Goriel and then we have a Jameson another mini random Jameson card there Thor's hammer incredible equipment and Roger Clemens in his Blue Jays uniform, seven-time Cy Young Award winner. Still not in the Hall of Fame. I think he'll get in someday, along with seven-time MVP Barry Bonds. They'll probably both go in at the same time, I would imagine. Jason Veritek, Bryce Harper Phillies card. There is a Jay Happ looking like almost like shocked that his picture is being taken there. Chris Sale. And then we have another one of these. Um, History of Flight cards, very colorful. Jose Canseco and his Devil Rays uni gets in the set, and Cedric Mullins. A no tops release would be complete without a Cedric Mullins and Ryan O'Hearn from 2019. Let's go on to our next pack. We've got a Ricky Henderson. That's a nice looking card there. Josh Donaldson, Trevor Hoffman, someone named Rocks. Don't know anything. Burton Rocks, son of a chemist, I guess. And he loves sports and writing. And then we have a Victor Robles. I like that shirt that Robles has there. Nice MLB logo. Berrios. Poseidon's Trident. And no baseball card collection will be complete without an egg. There is a card of an egg in Allen 
and Ginter. All right, I guess that's that social media thing that took off with a, an egg being, being the most liked photo on Instagram or whatever a few months ago. All right, we got Yvonne Rodriguez on the top there, and then we have some more non-sports. Claiborne, man, whoever got the non-sports is going to get a lot of hits, or not a lot of hits, but a lot of cards. We have a Ben Zobrist is our second hit. It is a game-used memorabilia, Ben Zobrist. I don't think he's played much this season at all. He's taken a leave of absence from the Cubs to go and work out his family situation. Um, he's going through a nasty divorce right now, so wish Ben Zobrist and his kids the best. And uh, it's good to see that Ben Zobrist is putting his family and kids first and getting that sorted out. And we won't even mention this guy. Next up... We have, looking for that last hit, there's a nice Whitey Ford. King Felix is in there. Another horse, a pie-eating wizard there. And then Walker Bueller and Don Mattingly. By the way, I, I'm going to show you the back of these cards. Pretty much, they're, it's always kind of like the same. You don't really get too many um, statistics on the back. They write them out like that, like the, I guess they did over 100 years ago. Never was really a big fan of the back. I like my stats in numerical fashion, and I like to have the entire record. Jorge Alfaro is the first one there, catcher for the Marlins, Ozzy Smith. There's a Yasmani Grandal, and Phil Rizzuto, Roger Clemens again, Herman Marquez, and Buster Posey. All right, we got about, I don't know, five, six packs left. I'm hoping we get at least one auto per box. Patrick Corbin, Willie Adames, it's a Ken Griffey Jr. That's a nice looking card. Baseball star signs. We get an Overland train. And we have an autograph. It is a framed mini auto of this person named Mullen. And it looks like they are a skateboarder. My brother probably knows all about who this person is. My brother loves skateboarding. Uh, it's actually after he left baseball cards, skateboarding took over as his main passion. He's a professional skateboarder, Rodney Mullen, and um, pretty cool, I guess, framed mini Rodney Mullen autograph. So that goes to the non-sports spot in the break. So those are three hits. Got an auto there of some random guy named, I mean, he might not be random, he might be one of the best skaters of all time. The only skater that I can really name is Tony Hawk, um, but that's just me. I never got into skateboarding at all. The extent of my skateboarding was sitting on the skateboard and going down a hill. All right, next we have Juan Marichal and this guy got a Dion Sanders, Willie Stargell. There's a space thing, Andrew McCutcheon and Pete Alonso rookie card. Okay, Pete Alonso, that's a nice one. Always like getting rookie cards of the big top prospects in the game and Pete Alonso is definitely one of them along with Vladdy Jr. I don't think we've seen a Vladdy Jr. yet. First Tiger Mask. There's a, another Alonso. Oh, that's not the Pete Alonso. That's Yonder Alonso. who got sent down to the minors a couple weeks ago. Many of Josh Hader, Blake Snell, Larson, and Polanco. All right. Two packs left to go here. We've got a Kevin Kiermeyer at the top, Dee Dee Gregorius, Harrison Bader, Scott Kingery. There's a Luis Orias rookie card mini, Brooks Robinson, Steve Carlton, and Adrian Beltre. And our last pack of Allen and Ginter. Actually, no, there's two packs. There's one hiding underneath. I almost didn't see that one. Let's see. we got Will Myers having a rough season this year. And then Post Malone, a musician, Carlton Fisk, Frank Robinson, and we have enough, they really like these flight cards. They're very colorful. Nolan Arnauto and Pujols round out the bottom of that pack. And here we go, our very last pack of this preview video. We've got the Mookie Betts on the top. That's a nice card. David Price, Paul Molitor Mini. Summers, that name sounds familiar. Mark Summers, okay. Double Dare. A lot of you probably grew up watching Double Dare. We have Tanaka, Jeter. Burns and Cano to round out the pack. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. We'll be breaking five cases of this tonight on the channel. I hope to start around 7 p.m. Um, we'll probably end up going until about midnight. It usually takes maybe about an hour a case or so. So looking forward to seeing you all in the live stream. Please hit that thumbs up button 
And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. Hit the subscribe button, leave a comment, and I'll see you tonight in the live stream. Thanks for watching, everybody.